Hey Knights, welcome back to the studio. On this week's show, we check in with the choir program about their upcoming performance, take a look at a few student-run businesses, and get some new ideas for fun and cheap activities we know you'll enjoy. Now on to the show. What's up, Knights? I'm Vanessa Porter. And I'm Kaylee Bristol. Tired of spending hangouts scrolling in silence? James has a guide for fun and affordable activities that anyone can do with their friends. High schoolers tend to share a common struggle. We have time, we have friends, but no bread. bread. Fret not, for I bring to you cheap chills. We're surrounded by tons of free parks and hiking trails, like the Riparian Reserve, which is only 15 minutes away. You can feed ducks, picnic, walk around, or even fish. Just make sure you look online to see what you can feed the birds. That's a handsome duck. Overall, I'd give it a 12. Next up is something for everybody. Staring into the void. I'd give this one eight thumbs up. Lastly, baking with the boys can be a ton of fun, and you can probably find recipes with ingredients you already have. You say it don't look right? It don't look right. People at home are watching. I'm gonna just say this looks good. It looks delicious. All right. Oh, that looks delicious. I'm baking. It's your You don't call me Jamal, I was making That's... All right, that looks pretty good. Delicious. So you're just gonna want to lay your cookies about one inch tall, lay them out on the pan. I'd have to rate this one a gold star. This has been James, reporting for The Studio. Last weekend was prom at Warehouse 215. Our juniors and seniors had an amazing time dancing under the lights and celebrating what has been an amazing year. The market will be closed before, during, and after school for AP testing until Thursday, May 12th. Only students scheduled to do AP testing will be admitted to the Media Center during this time. Antonio and Eric got to meet up with a local group of sneakerheads and resellers to learn more about their successful business and how they came to be. Me and Antonio sat down with some Higley sneaker resellers to learn more about what they do. My name is Michael Fireisen, and I like to sell sneakers. This has a little side hustle right now, but my goal is just to see how far I can get. I used to just do sneakers and fitted hats just for myself. I'd sell like to my friends or like some other people that like them. So now it's just me and my friend Mason and we do it together. So we're like bonded under the same Queen Creek's hype name. And one of our goals is just open a sneaker store. My name is Jevin and I run a sneaker reselling business and my username on Instagram is sneaker.connect. I started reselling shoes around a year ago. I just bought a few personal pairs, ended up selling them for more than I got them. So I, I just thought this was a good way to make money. So when I'm buying from people, usually I like hit them up on Instagram, look at their stuff on OfferUp, going through different apps, or just like I know them in, in real life and they tell me what they have. So I usually go to their house, bring a black light, check on the whole entire shoe, make sure there's no like Chinese stamps or anything, and, Nothing looks off with any glue stains. And after I just give them the cash or send them money like on Venmo or something. My name is Jack Farr and I've been shopping at QC Hype for three months now. I shop with them because they just have the best business and they give me the best deals. Plus they're my homies and you gotta shop local. StockX and Goat are like a third party website to buy a pair of shoes that's other than like Nike or like your retail places like Foot Locker. I think it'd be a lot easier to buy from a local reseller than using normal apps like StockX and Goat. 
because the prices are usually better and you don't have to wait around like three weeks to a month to actually receive your pairs. Sneakers to me is like every day, every day like makes an outfit better. I don't know, everything, everything's better when you look good. It's like if you play a video game and you buy a new Fortnite skin and you think you're better because you wear that skin. This has been Eric and Antonio reporting for the studio. Wait a minute! Attention class of 2023, next school year, Higley is offering a late start option to students who are on track to graduate. This is only available to seniors, so please visit the counseling office for more information. May 2nd through the 6th is Teacher Appreciation Week, so be sure to recognize our educators and admin if you haven't already. Amaya Frizzell is a Higley student who's made a name for herself selling custom hoodies using a non-traditional technique. Sean and Mikey have the story. Here on the studio, we find many students with unique and interesting hobbies. Amaya Frizzell is no exception, selling unique hoodies with designs based on the wearer's skeleton. My name is Amaya Frizzell and I'm a senior at Higley High. My business offers cool little bleached hoodies with a little custom design on the back. Not anatomical skeleton, but it's, it's a skeleton design on the front. I made some of these hoodies like a year ago maybe with a friend and I got compliments on it all the time when I wore it out. So people were like, oh, you should, you should sell these, you should make these and sell them. And that's where it sparked from and I did it and I got sales. On Etsy, I sell them for $39.99. I don't think any of my sales have been in state actually. All of them are from like New York or Pennsylvania where it's usually cold. The first step to creating it is just getting all the materials together and I chalk out the outline before I start and I just brush on some bleach over the outline and wash it and then fold it and it's ready to go. Unlike commercial clothing stores, Amaya's handiwork offers custom designs. My hoodies are handmade and they're unique to every single design so these splatter patterns or like patterns of the brush strokes are going to be different every single time. For the most part I can do like special requests on the back and if they don't want splatters I can just take out splatters. It used to take like an hour but I've gotten so good it only takes like 30 minutes 45 minutes to make one. I think this is like an alternative design to normal design that I see a lot of people like wanting something like that, but they're, they don't feel that they're artistic enough to make it. And so I've got the art skills and if you've got the money, I can get it. <laughs> if you happen to be interested in Amaya's hoodies, check out her shop on Etsy at Amaya Style Stuff. This is Mikey and Sean reporting for the studio. Last Saturday, Best Buddies held their annual friendship walk, where Higley won an award for top fundraising school. Pop show is coming up, so Christelle and I interviewed a few members to see why the show is worth attending. Our school's choir program has held a pop show for the past few years and has proved to be successful. We spoke with members in the program to see what it's all about. I'm Ava Pack and I'm the choir council vice president. I'm in Chamber Singers and I'm in Bella and lately I've been teaching with Aurora. The pop show is our very last concert of the year. We step away from the stuffy outfits and the choral music and we just get to sing like actual pop music. We get to like dance, the lighting's all cool, we get to wear whatever we want. It's really great. This year our theme is uh, the 2000s and onward. We're doing like a ton of pop music that you hear on the radio. So our first night is what we advertise as our parent night. That first show, we're going to be doing all of the same songs with the choirs, but our small groups will be different. Our second night is our student night. We target the second night towards students, and our small groups are songs that are of our generation. Being within the show, each student has their own reason for loving what they do. My name is Abby, and I am in two choirs, and that's Chamber and Bellinotti. I love the pop show because everybody's going to know what we're singing and the choreography is going to be amazing and it's just going to be so much fun. 
My name is Artash De La Cruz. I'm in The Chamber Singers. I enjoy the pop show because of the process of learning the choreo and watching the class get comfortable with uh, dancing because the majority of the choir are people who just like singing but not dancing or whatever it is. Many students in choir have stuck with it for so long that it holds a special place in their hearts. Why is it important to me? Well, I've been in choir since the eighth grade and beyond just like in loving choir, it's like a commitment for me. After being in choir for six years now, the pop show this year is very important to me so I can do my last hurrah. People should come to the show to see their friends, obviously, and to support them. And it's a super high quality show and it's super enjoyable to watch. You should come because it's a fantastic show. We put hours and hours of work into it and if I weren't in choir, I would come and see it every year. Make sure to stop by to watch this year's choir pop show on May 18th or 19th at 7 p.m. in the HCPA. This has been Christelle and Vanessa. Peace out. Attention sophomores and juniors, are you interested in 15 hours of community service? then we need you to participate in freshman orientation in July. You'll get two full days of training and then have a blast welcoming the class of 2026 into Higley High School. Go to room 505 or message Ms. Fonzo for details. It's almost showtime. Our dance department is having a dance concert on May 9th and 10th at 6 p.m. Tickets can be purchased on GoFan.co or at the door, so come and watch the Higley dancers level up. Congratulations to Keaton Jones on becoming the fastest 200 backstroke swimmer under the age of 18 in the world. We are proud to have you as an alumnus at Higley High School. Congratulations! Looking for a tasty treat or something to spice up a big event? Kaylee and Sophia sat down with a fellow knight that has just the cookie for you. Rhea Doctor is a talented student here at Higley who has taken her baking skills to the next level with her thriving macaron business. I have been making macarons for about two years now. I started in 2020 during COVID. I was inspired to start my own business from my dad. He's a businessman himself, so that's always kind of been what I've seen, what I've grown up around. He's really been my like top customer this whole time, and he always encourages me to continue with what my passion is. My favorite part of making macarons is probably the piping. It's really satisfying for me as a perfectionist, trying to make sure that every Every time they all like perfectly fill the circles on the mats is really nice because I love when it turns out that way. I think the thing that makes Rhea's macarons un more unique than normally store-bought ones is the care that she puts into them. She takes the time to make sure they're all exactly shaped, the same size, the same way, and they taste amazing. On my Instagram I have my menu listed. I can do more flavors than what's on there and when people message me I kind of just cater to their needs. Rhea's customer service is amazing because it's her business, so she cares about what happens in it. And so she is completely on it. If you have a question, she immediately responds and replies. As well as being a reliable business owner, Rhea has become so good at making macarons that store-bought companies can't compete. Before I actually started making macarons, I loved store-bought macarons, and maybe now I'm just spoiled because I think my macarons are so much better. Store-bought ones tend to be less chewy and less crunchy, which are like the best parts of the macarons in my opinion. Homemade macarons are always going to be number one. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Reyes Macarons, and feel free to DM me any questions about ordering or just about like how I do what I do. Next time you're planning a party or event, make sure to check out Rhea for the perfect bite-sized treats. This is Kaylee and Sophia signing out for the studio. Well, that's all we've got for you this week, Nights. With the year close to an end, make sure you tune in next week. Have a great weekend.